the overall the effect is we borrow more than what we paid. Okay, so that $80,000 here, if we look at the T accounts, again, like solving the equation, right side of the liability tells you beginning balance is 80, tells you we borrow more money, $90,000. Overall, the effect 80 and 160, the balance is difference is 80,000. But really, notes pay off. Assuming that the problem tells you all three information here, then you'll be able to figure out what is the payment of notes, $10,000. Okay, so you have the beginning balance, the ending balance, so the problem tells you the new notes that we issued this year are really worth 90,000. Then you know there's $10,000 missing in this entire T account. So overall, what you would see on statement of cash flow is new notes issued plus cash 90,000 minus cash 10,000 for any notes that we paid off. Okay, from the investing section and financing sections, all the problems pretty much will tell you a T account, an incomplete T account. Tells you some of the information you just need to figure out based on ending balance, beginning balance. What is the blue number here? Or probably what is the new notes that we issued? And then these two will be the dollar amount listed on statement of cash flow. New notes issued, we borrow $90,000. Cash increased $90,000. Notes payments, we paid off $10,000. So cash decreased $10,000.